Hello, everybody. This is Teresa Parker with Teresa Parker Art, and welcome to Thursday Night Live. And I'm still trying to get set up here a little bit so you can have the best view. Um, tonight, I want to do a painting that kind of matches my other one. We did this the other day, and we did this one the other day. Remember that? Oh, look, you can see both cameras. So we did the, the spring cactus. So I want to do um, another one that I'm going to do it with the same colors, but make it look more like the single one so that um, I want to hang them both up side by side in a room that I have, but I don't have anything on the wall. So for spring, I think it'd be good. This is a, oh, 10 by 20. And it's another one that I had messed up and I kind of had gray on it. So I thought it'd be perfect. Um, so the, we're going to go ahead and start with, I believe, the turquoise. And that's not exactly what is on the other one. So let me see if we can use. Let's try. I'm trying to find a match. I can't remember the exact color. I didn't look it up, but there was turquoise. So maybe, oh, Atlantis is close. So let me try Atlantis instead, sorry. Okay. Mm -mm. I know, don't open things with your teeth, sorry, my bad. Okay, so let's try Atlantis and see if this will blend in a little bit. Oh yeah, that'll look good. I think both of them together will match. Um, also, I have a... Um, video of a butterfly online and it's if you want to comment free in the comments put free I will send you a link to that it's actually um, one that's not going to be posted anywhere so it's something special for my viewers and let me start out with I guess a one inch brush and let me see this is oh yeah that's a really close color to what that was before so we'll use this one. I'm just going to take this is Atlantis. And I'm just going to put this all over the canvas here. I was off watching um, Midsummer Murders. Do you ever watch anything like on BBC or in the English shows? Oh my gosh, it's so good. But we like the murder mystery stuff, so... We really like that. We love the English, most of the English shows like Downton Abbey. We watched that for the whole time it was on, and we watch. Um, I don't know. We like the murder mysteries and the, the police ones. Uh oh, I think I lost video. Let's see. Did it quit working? Hmm. Let's see. I'm sorry. I'm gonna see if I can get it to work now. Okay, okay, now it's working. I don't know why it just stopped. Maybe because it, I had it. It's on a table and I think it vibrates a little bit. So we're going to... I'm just going to keep painting this blue down here and we're going to see if this will come back on. I hope so. So far, it's not coming back on. Maybe I... Um, hmm. Wonder if it was because I moved it too much. Oh no, they're both coming on and off. Oh, this I don't know what what's happening. I've never had this happen before. So if I lose connectivity, I'll come back. I've I've just never had that happen like that bad before. How odd. Uh oh, now my dogs are going to town. So no telling. Maybe we have some thunder rolling in or something. Oh my gosh, today it was like 82 degrees and sunny today. And I didn't have any of my shorts to wear, so they were all just hot, hot. Can you even believe it? Middle of winter, it's 82 degrees, and we got trees, trees blooming. Okay, let me get a little more on the Atlantis. So the dogs are, somebody's here. <laughs> so our dogs, you're going to hear our dogs make a lot of noise. We do have a lot of dogs, and um, I haven't told anyone how many we have because one day I think that'll be a little competition to guess based on how many names I've mentioned and who they've all met, like 
Max right here. He's behind me. So I'm just going to just put this on here. I don't, I don't like a smooth background. So it's just, I'm just going back and forth. There was actually some, oh, some black paint on here and uh, it actually dug into the background as well. And that, that'll work out fine. It'll just kind of add a little personality. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So I hope y'all can hear me. I know I, I kind of had this up a few minutes ago and it sounded a little funny along with the, the weird stop and start here. So hopefully y'all aren't just watching this with subtitles. Okay, so I got all that pretty well done. I do like this color. Okay. So, let's see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and we will... I think I'll put in the little gray shelf. Even though on, on the original one of the with the three bases there's not a shelf, I think I'm going to go ahead and use that gray shelf. And... I've got some black, which isn't open again. Hi, Zena. <laughs> so pour a little black out on here. And I'm just going to mix my own. Ooh, that's blue. Wow, that's pretty color. Can you see that? Oop, that's actually blue. Isn't that pretty? Oh, hey, Teresa, thanks. It's just, I'm trying it, you know. We try different things to see what happens, and um, I never know. <laughs> so let me try to find my black and let's do this one. here's a black and we'll just make a gray shell yeah I, we do the split screens and then we um i try the split screens i try it just with my hands and i don't know you know everybody has their opinion and, and they all have different thoughts on that but i do i like the split screen too so we're going to go ahead and all I did was I, I rinsed out my brush here. I still got blue in it and I don't care about that at all. So we're just going to make a light gray shelf here for these three, um, for the three vases, a little darker. They're little vases. So I'll just make a little shelf. So it's still a little wet and it's blending in with the blue, which is fine. This is just for fun stuff here. Okay, let me see if I can make it flat. Of course, I can't. I can't draw a straight line and talk at the same time. So, okay. Yeah, that's looking good. We'll put some white through here. Just a little some streaks Boy, it really shines in this light I can barely see where I'm at so hopefully it's looking good I think on there it looks kind of straight okay <laughs> alrighty so now we got the shelf done so um, I'm going to put in the three vases and we're going to put them in with black and just set that one aside for now and use a smaller brush. Let's kind of draw these in with black. See what happens. Oh, you know, it's funny. I got that darker blue in there. It looks kind of pretty. So let's do this one. It's kind of like this. Put this down on the shelf. Maybe like so. Okay, so they're all kind of triangular. So let's see what happens if we do this one. And the one right next to it. Oh, that's too big, isn't it? Uh huh. Two. And let's. Oh, that's not going to work at all. Okay. So we'll do this one. And this one. And this I'm going to fix. And I think we'll put a couple of flowers there. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit before I do anything with it, except for this piece I can just blend in right there. I love doing stuff on the fly so you can see how easy it is to change things. So, oh, yeah. Oh, you know, I hope that does look good. Sometimes people say it looks real small, and I, I don't know why. If it's something I do or that, that you know, maybe their, their telephones, like, turn the wrong way. 
so I never know. Okay, so we're going to leave that there. That's my mistake. We're going to put some flowers. But over here, let's go ahead and I might have to use my blow dryer. I know it's terrible. But I want to go ahead and make these kind of white. I'm going to make this one white. Try to anyway. Let me see if I have to get that blow dryer out. I just hate it because it's so noisy. I mean, it's bad on this side, but on this, on y'all side, it's really loud. Okay. So sorry, I can't talk and do straight lines. One day I'll learn. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. So we'll kind of let that dry a little bit and then we'll go over it again in white. And you know, I think this one I'm going to make, let me start it off black. Let's do stripes. Let's see what happens. And let me get a little more black. This is that Dollar Tree black. If you go to Dollar Tree and get the Acrylology, I don't know how to say that anyway. It's um really, really inky, really wet, really dark. I mean, it's got a lot of pigment. If you need something really black, that's it. And it does a lot. It does a really good coverage. I was like trying stuff from the dollar store to see if it'll work. I mean, you just never know. It's amazing what you can get from there. Okay. And I will fill the rest in. I'm going to do the rest of the lines with white um, when that dries just a little bit. Let me rinse out my brush. It's turned a little gray on me. Okay. Now let's see. Yeah, that's kind of, that's still kind of wet, but I'm just going to brush it in a little. Let's see if I can get some off of here. And... kind of dry it up a little bit. That's all I'm doing is taking this paint off of here. It's really easy to do. And I'm just going to leave it a mess because like I said, we're just going to put some flowers over it and uh, cover it. <laughs> so, I'm all about being able to cover your mistakes. And I put that quote on there on my site from, uh, on my page from uh, Bob Ross the other day, or yet today actually. We couldn't remember what it was. There's no mistakes. Just happy little accidents. Well, I got to tell you, I have a lot of happy little accidents. And uh, that's okay. It's fun. <laughs> so this really isn't real dry at all. So I'm just going to put this down. I'm going to mix this, blend this in so it kind of make a thinner coat on top. And what we're going to do is we're going to blow dry it. So sorry, it's going to be really loud. So you might want to mute it just for a second. And you, you'll hear my Zena. Zena, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come closer. Can you see her? Oh, you can't see her. Oh, come here. Can you come up here? She doesn't like jumping in my lap. Come here. Come on. Okay. She won't come. She's a little shy. She's camera shy. This is our big front yard dog, and she's in here keeping me company, and I think someone just got home, and she's she's going to start whining and maybe howling in a minute because she wants to be outside at the gate, at the at the front yard. Okay, so I'm going to, sorry, it's loud. Really loud. <laughs> I mean, this one of this is tall. It's tall uh, cactus, but I'm just going to put some little round ones in it and then some flowers so that when I put it on the wall, uh, you can't see it. But it's kind of all go together. I just needed something else to go on the wall with this one. I'm going to make a mess. I'm going to get this to dry a little bit. That light is really blending in. So if you use a dryer on your painting, you can use a hair dryer. Hi, Sarah. Oh, you know, I'm painting some more cactus. I wanted to paint up. Another cactus to go with the one we painted the other day. Because I want to hang them in one of my rooms. So I'm going to match this one a little bit. And uh, it'll 
So let's go back to the okay. Okay, let's go back to the white. And let's see if I can get this painted white instead of gray. I'm just gonna squeeze a little on there. Oh yeah, that's a lot of white. And get this on here. <laughs> Boy, that came out, didn't it? That's okay. So tonight you're learning lots of things. How to get paint off of a canvas instead of on a canvas. And, um, oh, you know what I did, though? There's a little video I just posted. Oh, I don't know if I posted it yet. i got to post it. Um, you know, I left one of my brushes out the other night, and the paint dried on it. I couldn't believe it. I don't know how I missed it. But the paint dried on it, and it was like a chunk of paint. And my bristles were totally dry. So what I did, straight line, can't talk. So what I did was I got a, a bottle of, um, oh, I had it in here, uh, Murphy oil soap. You know, it's just for like doing your furniture and stuff. And um, I put it on a little plastic or a little styrofoam plate and I squirted the Murphy oil soap in there and dipped my brush in it and let it sit. And I soaked it for about 20 minutes and every single bit came off. This is the brush. Can you see that? It is totally fixed. It's smooth and it's soft. Oh, it's moving. Look how soft that is. Isn't that great? Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I know. Straight line. I can't talk. Sorry. <laughs> that's, that's my, that's, that's bad. I'm bad on that. So, okay. So now let's get some white and I'm going to make this one striped. I'm going to try and we're going to see if we and not mess it up too much here. Yeah. Doesn't have to be perfect. I just wanted a little white line. Even mixed with the black. That actually kind of looks good. And we'll put this one in here. Yeah, I kind of like that black stripe going through there. It's kind of like, I like it when these little accidents happen. Okay. Go that way. Okay, so on the white one, I'm going to make it the the other original or the one I did the other night had um, hearts and polka dots. So I'm going to do this one with black polka dots. Let's see. So get my little paintbrush. I'm going to use the back end of it. And I'm just going to paint polka dots. And it's really wet with that paint right now, but that's all right because it's just going to help the polka dots spread a little bit. And I just want them to be random sizes and random shapes. And so my happy little accident over here is dry. We're going to make that into some of the flowers, the pink flowers. That'll match the painting from the other night. I kind of like polka dots. <laughs> Guess it reminds me of snowflakes. Ha ha. Tara's getting 18 gazillion inches of snow. Can't believe it. It was 82 degrees today. Just thought I'd let you know. Thanks, Teresa. Okay, so now we got to start here. Um... Let's go ahead and let's put in, I want to put in some little round cactus, you know, just let me get a different plate. You know, the little round, not the big tall ones like that was in the other night, just some little round fat cactus in the little, in this little uh, vases here. I'm going to use, I don't know what color this is, but it's pretty. We're going to use oh, shamrock. Shamrock green, that's appropriate with 
St. Patrick's Day coming, and I'm just going to do some round ones here. Let's just stick some round cactus in here. And he's kind of leaning a little this way, and that way I can put a little flower on top of him in a little while. So do this. And maybe another one right here, going the other way. And I'm going to put like a little flower on him, I think. Maybe make him a little bigger. We'll just go one one way and one the other way. That works kind of like a ribbon. And over here, we'll do some smaller ones here. And kind of stack them. Put a big round one here. All right. Put a little one up here. And then one more round one. And a little circle up here. I think that's good. We might have to add a little more blue to that one just to separate those just a little. Eh, or we'll just add some lines. We'll add lines to them and separate that out. So I'm going to clean my brush. And for the flowers, I'm going to use burgundy. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I assure you there's people on the paddle board here today too, Tara over at Bernie Lake. We have a little lake up by us. I'm, I bet you there were people on their paddle boards. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put a little flower here and let's see what happens. We're just going to put some color in. This is just a burgundy. Oh, it's actually really dark compared to the others. But that's all right. We'll just put this in here and I'll lighten it up with some lighter burgundy so that it matches because that definitely does not match the other flowers. That's okay. Um, let me use some, that was true burgundy. Let's try this burgundy. There's only about 10 different colors of burgundies. And they, they all look so different. Oh yeah, that's better. They all look so different. So I'm just going to blend this in. This will look much better. The other one was much brighter. The other color I used. So we're just going to turn my little blob into a couple of flowers. Uh, another blob. And we'll put another blob here. I love making mistakes and having to figure it out because it's just, it's just fun. So I'll put some leaves here. Okay, so now we have a bunch of blobs. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so, and that's like, I have something white on here. That's like a technical term, you know, the blob. That's a that's a professional term. There's something white on here, and actually it's pretty interesting because it makes it look more like a shelf, doesn't it? Okay, so these are all they're getting dry. Starting to get dry. So in the meantime, you know, I'm, I have no patience, but um I can't believe I, I like to paint and, and I have no patience, but so let's go ahead. Oh, let's get some gold out. Okay. And some of my Dollar Tree black. Oh, this stuff is so dark. Okay. And I'm going to get a little palette knife, right? And the other night I, I put the gold in the background, the gold and black. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to dip my palette knife in. And we're just going to stick some color out here in different places. Just kind of rough it up a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, and down here, I want it to kind of go this direction, kind of with the grain of wood, if that if that was a wood shelf. Okay, and a little bit more maybe right here, even though it's going to be a leaf, and a little bit of black. This stuff is so dark. Look how dark that is. So dark, isn't it? Okay, put a little black there, and it was like, it was like a teardrop full. I wasn't even a, look how black that is, so dark. Just add a little color, so it kind of matches the one from the other night. I'll, and I'll show you that one too again. And let's put a little gold over that, that got a little too dark. Okay, so 
Okay, we're coming along. It looks a little weird, doesn't it? Looks like a bunch of blobs. I have a picture of a bunch of blobs. Gosh, you can't beat that. Okay, so now let me do this. And here's the so here's the one from last night. See that? Oh, and you know I can do it this way. Oops, where's my camera? I can do it maybe this way. And then this one here. So see, I'm going to try to get them to look a little similar. Hence the black and gold in the background. And the flowers I will darken up. It's definitely, they're definitely more red, aren't they? So we're going to darken those flowers up a little bit with, gosh, that burgundy was just the wrong color. Let's try a little, let's try to mix a little black with it and see what happens. That little magical black, just a little. Oh, yeah, that's really dark. Griffin, Griffin. That is a seven-pound white fluff ball dog who thinks he's a terrorist. Okay, we're going to go in here. Oh, yeah, that's darkening it up. It's still not the right color. I got to find the right color. It's going to make me crazy. Mm -hmm. I could have sworn it was burgundy. I, I just dropped something. That was probably it. Let's try. What is this color? Uh, oh, black cherry. I don't think that was the color. But it might be closer. It might blend better. So, you know, this is the problem when I don't do everything at one time. And I didn't go back to look and see what color I used, which wouldn't be hard, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> I like to guess and make it happen on the fly. Sorry, I got hair all in my face. Oh, okay. Now, let's try black cherry. Oh, it looks like the burgundy. Hmm. I think that's too, I just think it's too red. But we are going to see what happens. Let's just try. Yeah. I think the other is more purple. But you know what? That's okay. We will just make these a little more red. What do you think? Okay, so now I'm going to use the same color. And just a little color. And we're going to put that, I'm going to make these guys have little colored stripes on them with that color. I mean, our, our cactus out here, oops, put it in the green. Our cactus out here have so many colors. And yep, put it right in the green. So put this one over that. Oop. Okay, well, we'll put him in the front, so we'll get rid of those in a minute. Another little trick. Okay. So we'll put him in here. And let's give him some dots. Mm, this is a pretty big brush, but that's all right. Give him a few dots just right down the edges here. Some little dots. Kind of separate them out. And over here, I will fill that in with green. Oh, I did the, the wrong one out front. Okay. Boy, you learn a lot tonight, aren't you? How to make colors, how to make magical blobs. I am good with the blobs, let me tell you. Okay. Just go over the red here. So, because I, I want this one in the front. Okay, so I'm going to put, it's really bright in here, so I'm going to put a little more dots on this side, just for personality's sake, for no reason. Okay, so the other ones, let's make these, um, I used white for dots the other night, so let's go ahead and make it match a little bit. God, this thing just squeezes out. Okay. Oh, now they're going to start howling. Ready? Listen. Okay, so we're going to put a little I'm just going to make these guys dotted. <laughs> I hope that's not one of the dogs I can get out. Okay. I know, Zena. I know. Sorry, babe. I'll let you out in a minute. Oops, got those a little too close together. I guess I can't dot and talk either. Okay. Got that. 
Oh, yeah, he's howling. Can you hear him howling? That is a 10 pound Pomeranian. He's also king of the branch. Okay, so now we've got that on there. And for the flowers, I'm going to have to put some black on there, but I think it's still a little wet. So let's use the bright green and we're going to just throw on some leaves. Um, we did the little, the long stems the other night. So I'm just going to kind of do that here. And I'm going to use a little black, which is getting blended with my white. And these just were like little dark dots, right? And little round dots, like not dots, but um, kind of like miniature footballs, I guess. I don't even know what these leaves are called, but they're pretty. So I'll go this way, and I'm just going to add that here. And I think we should make it a little longer. What do you think? A little longer. Kind of go this way, bring them all together. And then we will do one kind of, let's bring it up like this. Just because we can. Oops, little dots here. And little dots here. And I'm going to use just to touch that black right down the middle of it. Oh, I don't like that. Let's get the green back in there. Get more green. And we'll just dot that in there. These are a little bit more separated, which is fine. It's a little closer to the front. So over here. Okay. So now. Okay. I'm trying to make sure I can see all your comments. Okay. Now let's get out the black and my little thin liner. And I'm going to dip my liner in the water. And we're just going to use a little black around here. I kind of want it to match kind of how the flowers are in the other one. Okay. So here we are. We're just going to turn our blobs into something not so blobby. Make it a picture. Okay. And okay, so get rid of the black. They're going to be a different color, but you know, all in all, I think it's actually going to look really good together, the two paintings will. Okay, I'm going to highlight with some white. Gosh, sorry, I, these are all lines. I, I just can't talk. Okay. I will end up with like, I don't know, a clown on here or a horse or something. Okay. <laughs> A mess. Okay, so how's that look? Can you see that? All right, so there's the two. Oops, stuck my finger in it. Okay, so a couple of flowers here. And I don't like even numbers, so I'm going to have to add another flower. Maybe over here. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, in the meantime, while we're thinking about that, I know it takes a while for the comments to come through, so I hope y'all are still seeing this. Um, but while I'm waiting for a decision on where I need to put my third flower, let's use some bright green. Isn't that terrible? Look how a mess. I'll end up wearing half of it. I think, thank you, Tara. I think 80%, 90% of my clothes probably have paint on them. It's like, my husband says, "She okay, you run a dress, you're going to paint. Yeah, well, just got in a mood. 
And yeah, I have 18 million, um, oh, what are they called? Aprons and yeah, I don't ever wear them. So we're just going to give this a little bright green highlights on here to kind of separate out the leaves a little bit. And over this one, we'll do the same thing. I really do have fun with all this stuff. I try to keep it, you know, where y'all could always go back and do it too with me on the replay. And I try to make it, um, you know, under an hour or so just because I can't sit for that long. I don't know how, you know, anybody else does, but I figure for about an hour it's good. And, um, but I'd like to maybe one day do a sample of, some of my finer art I do and put it on here too. It's, it's still acrylic. I don't do oils yet. I don't know if I'd like the smell. Okay. So we've got that. Okay. My third flower. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what? We're going to stick it. How about right here? The black's still wet. So that kind of stops that. Okay. How about right here? We'll put it where it's not so wet. So let me go back to this dark red and the bright red. I'm just going to mix it all. And let's put a blob here. Okay. Yep. That's professional term, blob. Yeah, what kind of flower did you make? Oh, we made a blob flower. It was great. Okay. So, <laughs> do this. And I'm trying to add a little bit of the lighter. It did pick up the black off of that, which is fine because, as you know, we use the black in there too. So I think one flower is good. And boy, the colors are really different. You know, these might have to go in different rooms. Well, I'll, I'll take a picture of them side by side when I'm done. You're going to laugh. Okay. So, oh yeah, I need to go back and see what colors I used. Um, okay. So we'll leave that now. Oh, sorry. My nose is itching. Okay. Let's make a little, I know Zena, I'm sorry. I'm going to put the little flowers on top of the cactus. And I'm going to use this lighter pink, uh, the lighter magenta, and I'm going to mix it with a little white, make it a different color even. And let's just do some flowers. Um, that probably needs bigger flowers. Yeah, that's all right. I think most cactus have the similar flowers. I know ours have some yellow flowers, but they're huge cactus. Okay, put that there for now. And we'll add something to it. And we'll do like this. Get it a flower on top. And over here, get a little flower. Maybe two. Maybe another flower here. Just to Give it a little personality. You know how I am about personality. Over here. Okay, this does not look anything like the picture I had. But it just, you know, <laughs> my interpretation. Okay, so we'll do this. And then the flowers need a little dots on them. So let's give them some dots. And some little dots here. Just a little bit. Okay. So, let me go back to the flower. And how about if we put in another leaf? Or, I guess it's some kind of leaf. And, how about, um, let's see. I can't, I don't want to go into that because those dots look so good. So, I'm just going to. You know, do what I have to do, and I'll go under it like that. How's that? And then it just kind of swirls. Maybe even a little longer. What the heck? Okay, well, let's put some little dots on here. I mean, some little lines to make the leaves, not just dots. And... Yeah, I think that'll look one, two, three, one, two, three. That'll look okay. 
Um, let me get some black. Boy, that's really wet, but we're going to give it a shot. I'm going to give it a shot with the black. Ready? And see what happens. If it ends up getting really messy. Don't talk, sorry. I love these whimsical flowers, though. You can put them anywhere. I put them on. I actually painted a little chair and decorated it today for my front yard for like a, a flower bed that I can't grow flowers. Um, is, out, is out there. And so it's on my blog. If you look at my website, it's actually sitandstay.us. So sit and stay, like you tell a dog, dot us, U-S. Um, that's, that's my website with Teresa Parker Art. And, and I have a lot of art on there and a lot of pictures of my horses, my donkeys, my goat, the dogs. And um, I also have a blog of all the things that I've been doing around here. I just started it. Um, but I actually did a, um, I spray painted a yellow metal chair that we couldn't use anymore. And I put some of these whimsical flowers on it in black and white. And then I had a, like a little bucket with some sunflower sprigs in it. You know, the fake ones from Hobby Lobby. And I just kind of stuck it all out front. You should look at it. I think it looks really cute, actually. It looks really good. I was real proud of myself on that one. But I put all the pictures and how I did it on the blog on my, on my website. And uh, the way Facebook's going, my lives might be going to my, my website. So we'll have to let you know what happens with that. You know, they, they keep changing things and it's like we kind of get lost in the mix somehow. But, you know, it happens. Everything happens for a reason. I am a believer. And uh, so if I have to, I'll let you know that they'll be on the website. But they're on YouTube as well. I do upload them to YouTube if... If you ever can't find me, just look for Teresa Parker Art on YouTube. Teresa Parker Art on YouTube. Okay, let's take the little, let's take the bright green. Oh, that's a Josh. And we're going to highlight these little leaves over here to match the other ones. Now, you know, I probably need a little piece of, I need a little black going through here. Just to kind of go with the other one. Okay. So it matches the other ones. I'll calm that down a little bit. Okay. Take the bright green. We're going to highlight over here. And make it kind of look like a leaf. Kind of, sort of. Okay. And alrighty. I know, Zena. I know. I'm sorry. You have to wait just a minute. I know. Somebody will come in in a second. Okay. So, I don't know. Oh, you know, let me fix this white on here real quick because I don't like how it's, how it ran over my white. Just real quick. Touch this up. And that way, it was kind of coming over, the line was coming over the top of the white, and I didn't like how that looked. So that'll dry pretty solid on there, and you won't see it. And so there are my, it was supposed to be three, it was supposed to be three cactuses. It was supposed to be three cactuses and three planters. And I had a uh, happy little accident <laughs> and ended up with two because I didn't use a tracer. I just decided to draw them all out. And um, let's give these guys a little highlight too. Let me use, let's do highlights here. Um, then I turned from three cactuses uh, vases to two. And the colors changed a little bit. Yeah, I kind of like these highlighted. That looks much better, doesn't it? 
I know, Zena. So we'll do it that way. Oh, that looks much better, doesn't it? Don't you think on the highlight? Can you see that? I just, you know, when you add a little highlights or something, it looks good. So let me bring it over here closer. See that? That looks much better, doesn't it? Yeah. So we've got that. And I see where I, I need to add a little white dot. Kept dropping my paintbrushes. I know you hear them hitting the floor. <laughs> okay. Just a couple of white dots there. And I'm thinking over here, we might need a little bit more. Eh, I think that's okay without the highlights there, but those look good with the highlights there. So, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, no mistakes, just happy accidents. I posted that. I saw you commenting on it today. Atara, that was so funny. I couldn't remember all night long. So, okay. So, let me show you. Let's see if I can. I might have to take a picture, but here is this one. Actually, you can kind of see it in both videos, right? Both screens. <laughs> And here is the other one. So let me lay this down like this. So see, they don't exactly match. I'm having a hard time, aren't I? So they don't exactly match, but oh, there you go. What do you think? So they're going to be, they're the little different sizes. This one's long and they're going to hang on one wall kind of offset. So when I get them, I have to put little hangers on the back of these little bad boys. I'll do that tonight. And as soon as they're, this one's dry, and then I'll get them hung up in the bedroom. And um, it's just a plain a blank wall, so these all look really nice. Thank you, Tara. Thanks for letting me. Thank you, Felton, for telling me. I appreciate that. And uh, I'm real pleased. I really do like them. I think they'll look good on the wall. And they aren't the same exact colors, but boy, isn't that close. This is just a lighter version, so I got so lucky. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. But um, those are my cactus for, for the week. And I think it's probably the last cactus I'm going to do. Um, oh, wait. I forgot something. I see it now. I remember things last second. So I saw these little curly cues over here on this one. So let's put some curly cues on this one, like uh, up here, going into the flowers. And bring that down to the flower. Just to kind of give it a little bit more personality. Yeah. Okay. I think that's a good last touch. Mom here. Oh, hi, Mom. I'm glad you like both. And Tara, thank you. I'm glad it was fun watching. I really enjoy it. I have so much fun. And um, I'll post pictures when I get them hung up. And then um, I'm sure I'll see you again soon. But don't forget Tuesday live. Tuesday night live on next Tuesday. And I'll try to figure out what I'm going to paint. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. But until then, y'all have a good time. And be happy and stay warm, Tara. And um, we'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.